color grading should be fun, should be done easy, and you want to achieve good results quickly. For this, we created Color Mix. My name is Tim, and I'll show you how to achieve good looks just with one note by using Color Mix. Color Mix can be applied to any lock footage, whether in DaVinci Resolve Color Management or in Manual Color Management. In Manual Color Management, either behind or in front of your CST in Node. And of course, you can also apply Color Mix to normal Rex09 Gamma 2.4. Using Color Mix is very simple. In the Effects panel, search for DCTL and then drag DCTL to your Node. Then in the drop down menu, search for FM Color Mix, select it, and you are ready to use it. All you need is a previously color corrected and exposed image, but you can just as well do the color correction with the upper three sliders for cyan, magenta and yellow too. In the color mix DCTL, the two color models CMYK and RGB are used and combined. The upper part works completely in the CMY color model, while the curves in the lower part work in the RGB color model. The CMY color model is mainly used in printing. RGB, on the other hand, is a color model for display. In the RGB color model, the primary colors are red, green and blue. In CMY color model, the primary colors are cyan, magenta and yellow. In printing, black is added to the primary colors to produce deeper colors. The letter K in CMY K stands for black. In a subtractive color model like CMY, the primary colors are subtracted. The more saturated the colors are, the darker they become. For this reason, it is very difficult to obtain deeply saturated colors in the RGB color model. CMY is also the base for every analog color film. A film emulsion contains the image forming layers cyan, magenta and yellow in addition to other layers. This also leads to better and more deeply saturated colors in film. In color mix, a similar effect is achieved using subtractive saturation in the CMY color model. The colors appear darker and more deeply saturated. The top three sliders can be used to adjust the base color cyan, magenta and yellow. With a color mix, it is very easy to create a nice base look. For example, if you increase cyan and yellow a little, you get a yellow greenish image. The top three sliders work similar to the offset in damage resolve so they are also great for balancing an image. Skin tones can also be corrected and adjusted more easily by adjusting the primary color cyan, magenta and yellow than with the colors red, green and blue in the RGB color model. Here again without the color mix node and with a color mix node turned on. The set slider increases or decreases the saturation for the three channels cyan, magenta and yellow at the same time in total. Below the saturation slider there are three separate saturation controls. In addition to the general saturation each channel can be adjusted separately. This is very helpful for achieving individual saturation. For example if you increase the general saturation but want to achieve a little more saturation for cyan and blue in individually, you simply need to increase the cyan saturation slider. I recommend increasing the overall saturation first and then use the three separate saturation sliders to adjust the saturation individually. The black slider can be used to increase or decrease the amount of black. If you increase the subtractive saturation, the image can be become darker overall. Normally, the subtractive saturation is then counteracted in a note beforehand with a offset and the image is lightened again somewhat. This can now be done very easily directly in color mix where the black level is simply adjusted. It's very easy to take some black out of the colors and the image will be brighter again. If you want to get a deeper image, just increase the black value a bit. Now you usually have a good base grade and so a good base for the further development 
different of a look. With a slider compress gamut, the gamut can be compressed. <laughs> if the saturation is increased, it's very easy for a color to clip or simply appear too saturated. In such a case, gamut compression can easily be used to counteract and compensate for the high saturation. Here the comparison. On the left, the color red is much too saturated. On the right, the result after gamut compression. So if you don't want to destroy the overall saturation ratio, you can simply counteract with a gamut compression and get a balanced image again. Gamut compression works highlight weighted. This means that the highly resaturated colors are compressed first and the less saturated colors are compressed less. Up to this point, color mix works in CMY mode. Only the RGB curves work in RGB mode. In the curves, the settings for highlights and shadows can be made separately for each of the RGB primary colors, red, green and blue. HL stands for highlights. SH for shadows. The default values are 0.5 and mean no change. Once you have created a base look with the upper CMY sliders, you can develop the look even further with the RGB curves. Unlike the RGB curves in DaVinci Resolve, the RGB curves do not require manual control points to be set, especially users who just want to get good results quickly often have a hard time fiddling with the curves. Working with the RGB curves in color mix is therefore easier and optimized for quick results. It is also possible to work with the RGB curves only and develop a look. You don't necessarily have to use the top sliders. For example, if you want to achieve warmer tones in the highlights, you simply increase the value for the red highlights and then use red shadows for the shadows to counteract in the shadows and neutralize the shadows again. Or you even take out some red to get a bit more teal in the shadows. If you want to control the areas more precisely and see which areas are affected to what extent, simply activate the checkbox show RGB curves. The curves are then displayed directly in the viewer. Here you can see exactly what you set and how far the highlights and shadows are affected and where the pivot is. You can hide the RGB curves at any time. Just activate the checkbox bypass curves presets. This also hides the curves in the viewer. If the show RGB curves checkbox is activated, this way you can always check what effect the RGB curves have on the image. Color Mix already contains some presets. The presets contain settings for the RGB curves and in some cases also for the cyan, magenta and yellow saturation controls. If the name of a preset ends with C, only values for curves are set. So the C stands for curves. To apply a preset, simply click on the drop down menu in the bottom and select the preset. Once a preset is selected, it overrides the settings for the curves, which are then blocked and you can no longer make adjustments while preset is selected. If the label ends with S, C settings are also made for the cyan, magenta and yellow saturation sliders, but not for the general saturation. The saturation controls cyan, magenta and yellow are then also locked. The S in the preset name therefore stands for saturation in this case. If a preset is selected, it can be bypassed just as easily as the RGB curves using the bypass curves presets checkbox. There are also two teal and orange presets, one as a soft split and one as a teal and orange base split. The base split also includes presets for the saturation sliders for cyan, magenta and yellow, but not for the normal saturation. And again, the color mix node off and on again, so you can create a complete look with color mix with only one 
note. Users of Colomix will receive even more presets in upcoming updates. And one final remark, all functions are implemented purely mathematically. Colormix has been tested by professional colorists, directors and DOPs, filmmakers and normal users too. We recommend that you only ever make small adjustments, but you should anyway, whether you work directly with the tools in DaVinci Resolve or with plugins or DCTL tools. Color Mix is available on Filmentor. Link can be found in the description. There is also a demo version. Both contain a description of the tool as a PDF. No hidden costs. Pay once and get a lifetime license and updates. Thanks for watching and listening. Stay safe. Bye.